Here at Logie Colston, we have been looking at how the natural landscape has shaped our history and how it has continued to affect us today. Today we're at the Bernavat, just a few miles from our school. This amazing feature was created about 15,000 years ago when the ice sheet that covered the whole area began to melt. It's thought that rocks got caught up in a hollow in the river of meltwater and over thousands of years the tumbling boulders carved out this massive pothole. The natural landscapes provide us with one of the essentials for life, water. The water cascading down the hills into streams and rivers is a source of drinking water. No matter where you are in Scotland, you just have to look at what's on your doorstep to find out how the natural landscape has formed our history and provides us with great outdoor experiences today. The income from the, the, the sale of the venison and the income from the guests who come up here to, to work shooting, that goes a lot towards uh, the running of the estate. Between the, the deer stocking and the, the grouse management, that's what keeps this place going and that's what preserves these hills the way they are. Coming up in the programme today, we're going to look at transport and eco-friendly alternatives for travelling around Balter, Aberdeenshire and the Cairngorms National Park. Have you heard of sustainable tourism? Yes, I have. The idea behind sustainable tourism is that it has to reduce the impact on the environment and the local community. And we've been hearing about the new initiative to encourage people to explore the area by electric bike. The Cairngorms Electric Bike Network is a new initiative that's being run by Sustrans and the Cairngorm Park Authority. Um, and it's aimed at trying to get people to get out of their cars and travel around the park using a sustainable means of transport, which is the electric bikes. Walking is a popular activity for the visitors and residents here in Ballater. Leslie has been finding out more. In May of each year, Ballater attracts many visitors from far and wide to a successful walking festival. Ballater is the base of each walk that takes place and they extend across the National Park and Kieran Gorms. There are always ways you can help reduce carbon dioxide levels. Instead of the car, you could take the bus, walk or cycle. Or if you're a child, or just a kid at heart, use skateboards or roller skates. Have fun and be kind to the environment. It's a winner. My name is John and I am one of the pupils from Tom Tal Primary. We live in the Cairngorm National Park. Most people who live in the Cairngorm National Park don't notice the hills very much. Recently we've been wondering how the Cairngorms came to be here. I've been asked a question about how long would it take for a, a clast of, of a bed load in a river to find its way from the summit of Cairngorm to the bottom. Well, we happen to have been doing some research on this uh, and over the years um, I'm able to uh, give you a few results. Our rock was carried from the top of the mountain by storms and melting snow. The rock would eventually fall into the stream and it would pass through moorlands on its way down the stream. Ferns carry stones downhill and pass through the moorlands. 41% of the Cairngorm National Park's landscape is moorland. Vast open spaces with no trees, no forests, just heathers, grasses, bogs and burns. It is also great for wildlife. When it reaches the farmland, the rock tumbles down the river. After hundreds of years, the rock could reach the sea. When it starts, the rock is quite rough. And on its way down the river, it gets worn and smooth, bumping into other rocks. The delivery hasn't arrived. I need to change the menu. Where am I going to get all this food for this evening's customers? I can't even get the food. You? 
How would you know where to get food for a first class restaurant? There's lots of sources of local produce for I buy. I used I used to work on a farm in the tatty shop. Tatty shop? What what tatty shop? And at any rate, we need first class food, not local muck. It is first class, sir. The best is Scottish food. Come on, I'll show you. you to a trainee chef. Really? Yes. Now get back to work. I need those tatties washed and peeled for tomorrow. Hi, chef. Nature news comes from Car Bridge, so it's over to Jack at the Lorgy Burn to find out about an exciting environmental project. We are from Car Bridge Primary School. We love our environment because we have lived and played in it since we were little. It's a great place to see wildlife and find food such as blueberries, sorrel, and to make pine needle tea. Well, we're hoping to return rivers to a more natural state um, and improve the environment for all the creatures that live in it and also to mitigate for future effects of temperature change and climate change because we expect it to be a lot wetter in the future and we want the upper catchment to be able to hold more water in times of heavy rain. Planting trees beside the riverbank helps to stabilise the soil, preventing erosion. The leaves on the trees cast shade on the water, making it cooler by as much as 7 degrees. That's good for fish like salmon during spawning. It's been six weeks since Carveridge planted these trees and we've now I've just we've seen that the leaf the trees have increased and you can see the little leaves are getting bigger. In a couple of years the trees will be bigger than me. Long ago, when people first came to this part of the world, they would have hunted and gathered their food in woodlands and on the coast. In the woodlands they would have hunted red deer, roe deer, wild boar, and otter and gathered plants, nuts, berries like hazelnuts, blueberries and nettles and some of this food is still available to us today. Today we are at Glenmore Forest with Kirsty to do some foraging to find out which foods are edible and which ones aren't. Kirsty taught us how to find food in the forest so now Martin is helping us find nettles in Alvi. So this has been cooking for about 20 minutes or so. And then we're just going to add the nettles. And they just, it looks a lot, but once they hit the heat and everything, they'll just wilt down. A bit like spinach. Uh, we have just been eating nettle soup that we made by just foraging nettles in the forest, and it was really yummy. We love the mountains, but what do they mean to you? As the primary four to seven class of Braemar School, we have been looking at what the mountains mean to us as children and also residents and business people of Braemar. What uh, the mountains mean to me is freedom, peace and quiet. Uh, I enjoy biking and up the hills and speeding back down again, which I really enjoy. The mountains and the natural landscape in and around Braemar needs to be carefully managed in order for the plants and the wildlife to flourish and be sustainable. The states carefully balance the needs of visitors with nature. The mountains provide an amazing adventure program for everyone to enjoy. As well as hunting, shooting and fishing, there are a wide range of outdoor activities to be enjoyed on the mountains. These activities require special clothing and equipment which can be provided by businesses in Braemar. We have discovered that the mountains are vital to the economy of Braemar and the livelihoods of so many people who live there. 
If we want Braemar to prosper, then we have to manage and take care of the mountain landscape around us. My name's Adam and I live in the most quiet part of the world. It's Loch Lomond National Park. It's the biggest freshwater lake in Britain. It was born 10,000 years ago during the ice age. It is pretty close to being used to Celt, Vikings, Romans, and Bob Brown and Gregor. So it has been here in the middle for many years since the world to stop the lake of the lake. Why not have the lot more than to the store like So why don't you come see to me first? Hello, I'm Taylor, and I'm here in the village of Aberfall in the heart of Loch Lomond in the Celtic National Park. As there is a year of natural Scotland, they're going to explore the National Park as a place to get to all ages. The people have been coming into the same in the Celtic National Park for hundreds of years. But as the population has grown and people have got more mobile, it's more and more people are coming. They get millions of visitors. So our job in the National Park is to yes, absolutely welcome people here, but help them learn to do it responsibly. Why, hello! How was me? Tell me fun. I mean, I expect to be changed all the time. There are 15 National Parks in the UK, and two of them are here in Scotland. The Fairing Gardens in here, Lock Lomond in the Scotland. Each year, the National Park got thousands of visitors to come to the beautiful scenery and actual outdoor activities. So that's all from us here at the National Park. We hope you get inspired to get out there and enjoy your natural children. And if you enjoy it, for your surroundings, as much as you enjoy ours, you'll have an awesome time. <laughs>